Hello friends, in this artificial intelligence class, we are going to see the constraint satisfaction problem CSP from first unit problem solving. Constraint satisfaction problem are the mathematical questions defined as a set of objects whose state must satisfy the number of constraints which are otherwise called as limitations. That is, we are having a set of objects, the object state, this is object, object state should satisfy the constraint. So, based on the satisfaction of this constraint only, we need to assign this particular state to this object. And CSP represent the object in a problem as a collection of finite constraints over variables which is solved by constraint satisfaction method. So, generally in our domain we are having so many objects and we are having the variables v1, v2, v3 etc. We are having a variables and we need to assign these variables to the objects we are going to assign this variable to this object that is the variable is nothing but the state, state of object, state of object and how we are going to assign this state by satisfying a fixed set of constraints for example, C1, C2, C3 and these are fixed set of constraints. fixed set of constraints. So, while assigning this value to this object, we need to satisfy all these constraints. So, this problem is called as constraint satisfaction problem, constraint satisfaction problem. And what is assignment and what is solution of a particular CSP? CSP means constraint satisfaction problem. When the assignment is complete, that is all the variables is assigned a value. We are going to assign values to all the variables then this is called as assignment. But what is a solution? Solution means all the assignments should satisfy all the constraints. Suppose if we, uh, there are three different constraints means each assignment should satisfy all the three constraints then only we reach the solution. And next the applications of CSP. The applications are uh, map coloring problem, line drawing interpretation, uh, scheduling problem, so many scheduling problems are there and we can use this CSP for all the schedul uh, scheduling problems and floor planning for VLSI. So, in all this area we can implement this CSP. The formal definition of CSP. The CSP consists of a finite set of variables x1, x2, etc. up to xn. So, these x capital X are called as variables and second one non-empty domain of possible values for each variable. So, these are domain and each domain consists of a set of variables v, v1, v2, etc. up to vk and next one is finite set of constraints c1 to cm and each constraint C n limits the value that variable can take. For example, x 1 should not be equal to x 2. This is called as the condition. And a state is defined as an assignment of values to some or all variables. These are the formal definition of CSP and a consistent assignment consistent assignment does not violate the constraints which is called as consistent or legal assignment. Suppose we are going to assign a value to this variable means we should follow all the constraints that is all the constraints should be satisfied while assigning a value to variable then it is called as legal assignment and the next one is complete assignment which is every variable is maintained and a solution to CSP that is a complete assignment that satisfies 
all the constraints that is called as complete assignment and some CSP also required a solution that maximize an objective function. And now let us see one simple example for CSE that is the map coloring problem. The problem is to color the regions of a given map. Here we have taken the Australian map and no two adjacent regions have the same color. That is we need to assign different values for different regions of this map and regions in the map are variables. And here we are having different regions and this is variable 1, variable 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and variable 7. And the set of possible colors of this region is domain. We are having three different colors red, green, blue and these three are domains. And our problem is we need to assign any value sorry any color to any region but the condition is no two adjacent regions should have the same color. And how do we represent this problem? First one is variables, variables vi, how many variables we are having? Western Australian, Northern Territory, Queensland and uh, New South New South Wales, Victoria, Southern Australia and Tasmania. So, these are variables W, A, N, T, Q, N, S, W, V, S, A and T. So, these are different variables in our domain and domain is red, green and blue. We are having three different colors and constraints adjacent regions must have different colors. So, this is our constraints. So, while assigning these values to all the variables, we need to satisfy this particular constraint. For example, we should not assign same color to this Western Australia and Northern Territory. These two colors must be different. So, how many possible combinations we are having here? For example, suppose I am giving red color here. If it is red means this may be blue and this may be green. So, then this is again red and this is again blue and this is again a red and this may be blue or green. Okay. So, in this solution, we are having more number of solutions in this problem, but the only thing is the assignment should satisfy the constraint. And next to the important terminologies used in the CSP. First one is initial state. Initial state should be an empty state that is empty assignment in which all variables are unassigned. And next one is successor function. This is most important one. Here values can be assigned to any unassigned variable. Here we are going to assign the values to unassigned variable and it should not be conflict with the previously assigned values. So, this is called as constraint. This is called as constraint. So, before assigning any value to variable, we should follow the constraint. The constraint should be satisfied. And next one is goals test. Goal test means the current assignment of value that should be completed. After that, we need to test whether we reach the goal or not. That is called as goal test. And next one is path cast, compute the cost of every step. So, in CSP almost the step cost will be constant. Most of the problem the step cost will be constant in the CSP. Here the solution for our map coloring problem and we are assigning red color to western Australia and Northern Territory is green color, Queensland is red and New South Wales is green and Victoria is red, 
and southern Australia is blue and Tasmania is green. So, but here we are having so many other uh, solutions also. For example, suppose if, if we assign red color here means this may be blue, this may be blue, this is green, this is blue, this is green, this is blue and this is green. Otherwise, we can give this is green color, this is blue color, this is green color, this is blue color, this is green color, this is blue color. Suppose if we assign red color here means and the green and blue will be come in this regions alternatively. Okay. So, for a problem we can have so many different solutions, the only thing is we need to satisfy the constraints. Map coloring versus graph coloring. Now, we are going to convert this particular map into the graph in this way. And most of the times this problem has many solution and the topology of constraint graph, this graph is called as constraint graph can be used to identify solution easily. Suppose the map is converted into graph like this, then we can easily identify the solution when compared to the regions of map. The map coloring can sometimes represented as graph coloring problem. Why? Because if we convert the map into graph, then identifying solution will be very easy. After converting our map into graph, then we need to search for goal state in CSP. Here every solution must be a complete assignment, therefore it appears at depth n, the solution appears at depth n if there are n variables. If there are n variables, then we will get solution at the depth n and the search tree expands only to depth n. The depth first search algorithm are very popular for solving the CSP problem. The path by which solution to be reached is irrelevant because we are having more number of solutions and local search method works well for the for this formulation. So, the map should be converted into graph then we can use uh, the depth first search for solving this particular C constraint satisfaction problem. And the next very important thing is types of constraints in constraint satisfaction problem. That is how many different constraints there. First one is unary constraint. Unary constraint means that un constraint related to only a single variable. The single variable assignment should satisfy the condition. And next one is binary constraints. Binary constraint means that related to two variables. For example, graph coloring. Graph coloring means uh, suppose we are assigning a red color to this region means and the next day we need to assign blue or green. Blue or green. That means before assigning any value, we need to test the value of previous variable also. Okay, so, the constraint should affect two different variables. So, this is called as binary constraint and next one is higher order constraint. In the higher order constraints, the constraint related to many variables that is called as for example, cryptarithmetic puzzle. Before assigning any value to this particular cryptarithmetic puzzle and this will affect more number of variables also. That means, we need to concentrate more number of variables before assigning a value to particular variable. This is called as higher order constraint. So, we are having three different types of constraints. First one is unary constraint, second one is binary constraint and third one is higher order constraint. And that is all about constraint satisfaction problem. And in the next video, I will give another important topic in artificial intelligence. Thank you all of you.